The city of Detroit is sinking. No, that is not the start of a joke. It is reality. That's right. A new study reveals the city is slowly sinking at a rate of about a tenth of an inch a year. Doesn't sound like a lot. Shante Passmore set out to get some answers into why this is happening and if we can get it to stop. Hey there, when you think of city sinking, Detroit doesn't come to mind. In fact, the study says the city is sinking about 0.1 inch per year. And to get a better understanding, researchers had to get a sky high view of a ground level problem dating centuries ago in the Motor City. Detroit, home to more than 630,000 people, according to census data, is known for being battle tested. Now, some researchers say it faces an invisible threat. The ground is sinking. The ground is sinking? What? <laughs> the really interesting thing about Detroit is Detroit in major areas are not sinking as a result of human activities. It's sinking as a result of uh, a natural process known as glacier isostatic adjustment, or GIA for short. Wait, what? A quick recap of what's glacial isostatic adjustment and why it matters in Detroit. Between 12,000 to 14,000 years ago, scientists say the ice sheet covering the North Atlantic coast began melting, Detroit sitting on the edge. All that land pushed up by the ice began sinking. The study used radar satellite data to observe areas where there were land motion in major U.S. cities. That's sad if it's true, but Climate change is a big deal. Think of sitting on memory foam where certain sections are pushed up. Once you get up, the foam returns to its original form. We got great engineers in this city. Uh, the mayor's not going to let it fall. And obviously, it's one of the number one cities in Michigan. So I think we'll be fine. The city says it's aware of the sinking. The Water and Sewerage Department tells Local 4 its assets and water mains are fine, thanks to using more flexible material. The study suggests that things are sinking together. What really troubles our assets is when you have differential settlement, when one side sinks but the other doesn't. The study suggesting an underground problem is rising to the surface. And another problem with sinking areas not prone to flooding could soon have to deal with that issue. Researchers say the best thing the city can do is not to build in these high risk areas and to also do proper maintenance um, maintenance check on that infrastructure often guys. This is why engineers are so important. Shante, is there a threshold we should be worried about? If you do the math here, that's about an inch. We're sinking every decade. Of course, it adds up over time. Yeah, well, I'm learning there's really no number for that threshold. Well, we'll keep an eye on it for sure. Shante Passmore, thanks for that story.